Hello, my loves. Here we are, a new week and a new video and a much requested one. This week we are tackling the terracotta eye look. I'm going to make it a little bit more bold and dramatic and put an evening spin on it. Uh, for a daytime look, you can always tone this down by using less shadow and less application. But I'm excited to get into it. It's a very popular eye trend. It's a beautiful look. Um, anybody can wear this, any eye color or skin color, and I'm ready to launch in. So I've got my foundation complete, brows are done. I have put my foundation, which as you know, is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation on my eyelid as a primer. And I will list every makeup item I use in the description portion of this video. So you can click more and read all about it. But in the meantime, let me pull in and we can get started with the eye look. Okay, so like I said, I've got my foundation on my eyes and I'm going to take a white pencil that I use as a highlight pencil right underneath my eyebrow. And I'm going to apply that right here on the top of my lid. And what that's doing is it's lightening the lid and the color that I apply here is going to be a little bit more true to life. So it just makes these uh, terracotta and bright oranges pop a little bit more. Just take it and then I blend with my finger. Okay, so today I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever eyeshadow line and these are the colors that I'm using right here. So as you can see, really pretty browns, oranges, peach with a lovely highlight color and I'll walk you through and give you the names as we go. But what we're going to do is start with the first one. This is Copper Red. This is a shimmer. Now you know I always talk about using mattes, especially when you reach a certain age you want to avoid the iridescence. I'm okay using a little bit for an evening look and specifically right here on the eyelid and that's it. You can modify this if you feel that your eyes are too crepey and you can't use iridescent at all, choose a matte color. But for this particular look, I'm going to use the shimmer. This is I-736 Copper Red. And I'm going to take my brush. All of my brushes are MAC. I've had them forever. I don't know the numbers, but this is a soft round brush. And I'm going to apply it in the color and I will then tap it right here on my lid, pulling slightly up into the crease. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is use a relatively flat brush and I will go now into my deeper red. This is the Auburn Matte and I will apply this into the crease line, sort of doing a cut crease look going a little bit below, uh, above the crease and out. And it's going to look very heavy. We're gonna do a lot of blending on this look. It might look a little freaky at first, but don't worry, it will all get smoothed out. And I'm slightly whisking to the outside of the eye. This is gonna be a very dramatic kind of a cat eye look. Now I'm going to take a flat but firm brush and I will use Sweet Chestnut, which is the brown color here on the outside. And we're going to now do the outer third in Sweet Chestnut. And this will flow. Once we're done, you won't see any lines of demarcation. It will all fluidly blend into each other. And we'll use a brush for that. Okay. For the inner corner of the eye, I'm going to use a slightly iridescent shade. This is pearl beige, a bit of an off-white. And I'm going to put a tiny bit here in the corner of the eye to really brighten up the eyes. Also helps to create a wider eye look. And you can carry a little bit of this right here under your brow bone. And now I'm going to use a brush like so that's very soft. And this is going to blend and smooth everything. So I'm going to start on my inner corner blending from the white to the peach. Just moving it over like so. Whisking in an outward motion on up. And I will do the same to the other side white to the peach. 
outward and up. And now I will carry it through from the peach to the brown. And we're just getting rid of any harsh lines at this point. And you may notice, see right here, I see a little hole. I can fill that in again. And you may notice that happens as you blend. But you can always go back and add and build as you need to. Okay, this is a pencil by L'Oreal called Brown. Appropriate. I'm using this as a smudge pencil for the waterline of the eye. Line the bottom and the top. Now I know why they call it waterline. <laughs> Makes your eyes water. Okay, so now I'm going to go outside of my Makeup Forever palette into the shade and light from Kat Von D, one of my faves. I'm going to blend these two, this black and this dark brown, and I'm going to use that as a smudge. I'm not going to use a liquid liner on my top eye. I mean, I'm sorry, on my top lid along the lash line. I'm using a powder. I'm keeping this a very soft, shadowy type of a look, no harsh lines. So again, this is a blending of the black and the brown. And we're going right here along the lashes. Just slowly building, take your time. I'm taking my line and I am bringing it out to a slight wing. Nothing too dramatic or harsh, just a little bit. Again, the black and the brown mix. And if you need to, just pull a little bit to make the skin taut. I taut, I taut, booty tat. Again, you see how nice and soft and powdery looking this is. I will take a tiny bit of the black now and come right in here, making that little V. And then I will use this side of the brush that had the brown and I will again blend and feather. And you can use your other blending brush to continue that whisking and outward motion. See how I'm whisking it all the way out past the brow? That's gonna give it a really nice cat eye effect. Take a look again at what you have. Again, this iridescence in peach is something that you can build up. Here's a little trick for you, by the way. If you really wanna get a big pop of color, nothing better than the tip of your finger and just dab it in the shadow and then pat and you get a really strong pop of color that way remember this is more of a dramatic evening look so don't be afraid great okay so now i am going back to the sweet chestnut brown which was the original brown that we used on the outer corner of the eye and i'm going to take this style brush, flat and firm. We're gonna use that now to shadow beneath the eye to continue a smoky eye look here. Bring it all the way in. We can clean up again any mess with our concealer and brush. Okay, almost there. Back to our white pencil. Again, wonderful brow highlight going right underneath the brow and just with feather light strokes go right under your brow line initially it's going to make a white line but we are going to blend and smooth that to where you cannot see it bear with me i'm looking for the right brush here it is Ta-da! and i'm just going to take this and whisk Kind of like baking a cake. I guess this would be the icing, right? Great brow bone highlighter. Makes your brows pop, makes your eye makeup pop. It's just a really pretty look. You can also do a little highlight above the brow if you'd so like. Uh, one trick that I like too is you can take your white pencil right here on the tip of the nose, right here. on the bow of the lip. Just areas that you want to brighten. 
Okay, so the eye makeup is done. Time for the curling iron. Eyelash curler. <laughs> Hey, listen, if you warm this baby up, it is a curling iron. I'm going to use my uh, Smashbox X-Rated Mascara for this look. Take your time. A couple of coats will do it. This mascara really gets in there, builds your lashes, makes them thick, full, has sort of a false lash look which is great. I'm still going to apply falsies, my favorite wing tips at the end, and we'll get to that in a minute. So now I'm gonna pop on these little wing tip falsies, the tiny ones. I've used them before, as you can see, and I do reuse them. I will wash and clean the top part of the strip and let them air dry, and then pop them back on. And as long as they look like they're in good shape, then I feel like we're good to go. Andrea Strip Lash Glue in clear and then just on the outer corner I'm going to place and just kind of wiggle it in. Very good. See how it gives just a very subtle little kick to the outer third of the eye. Just get it in, wiggle and press and assess. Okay, time to clean up whatever debris may have fallen below and it is time for concealer. I am using still my gold standard, my Tarte Creaseless Concealer, and I'm going to apply it with a Marc Jacobs um, concealer brush that I purchased when I bought my Remarkable Foundation. They highly recommended the brush and it really is great. So a little bit of concealer here on the tip. This is medium in Tarte, and I'm going to take my concealer and I'm going to press. And you're going to see a really neat look with this in just a moment. And I bring it all the way out here, the outside of the eye, inner corner. You can use this to highlight areas, for instance, the bridge of the nose between the eyebrows. You can use this here on the laugh line. Okay. Now I'm using a wider brush like so, to completely blend and smooth in the concealer. And here I'm going to go in a very straight line out to the side of my face. And you see what I'm doing? You see how it's sweeping just underneath the dark brown that we very carefully blended into the outside of our eye. It's a very subtle look, but it has a, a very pretty like I said, cat eye effect when you do this. Pull the concealer down and then straight out to the side. Concealer is placed, time to powder. I am still using Face Atelier. Do I have that upside down? <laughs> Why, yes, I did. Face Atelier Ultra Loose Powder. I alternate between number one and number two. Number two is a little bit richer in color. Number one, pretty light. Almost, it's almost a translucent, but it's, it's on the fair side. Um, so I will take this and I will press it in specifically where I've put my concealer. Just take it and push. Like I said, what's so great with this Tarte Creaseless Concealer is that when you build it and then you set it with powder, this stuff doesn't budge and it doesn't set into the lines. Still my all-time favorite. Okay, I'm going to pull back. We will finish this look with contouring, blush, and lipstick. Now you can see everything just coming together. Okay, so for contouring, I'm using a firm brush. I'm going to use my Anastasia Contour Kit, and I will be blending these two colors together. A little bit of the dark, a little bit of the medium. And I'm going to start in the hollows of the cheek, and I'm going to start here and whisk upward. This really accentuates your bone structure. Insta cheekbones! I'm going to use the medium shade, and now here at the tip of the nose, just a little bit. And this is a great way to contour your nose, slenderize it. Again, right up here along the hairline where the sun would give you a little bit of a glow. 
This is great if you have a large forehead and you want to minimize the appearance of that. If you feel like you don't have a very strong jawline, this will really make it pop, creates kind of a shadow look underneath your jaw. To make this look good though, you've got to take it and pull it down so that you don't have a dark line. I'm going to use the Love Flush kit, which was used in my Valentine's giveaway. And I will use the middle color, which is I Will Always Love You, right here, a nice peachy color. And that's gonna go right above the contour on the cheekbone, again, blending upward. And if you have to, do duck face to get the right placement. Nice, kind of a peachy, sun-kissed look, really complements the uh, copper color on the lid. And then you can always follow up with the contour kit from Anastasia, the light colors. I blend the pinkish and the yellow, and I run that right here under the eye. Again, gives good separation between the eye and the cheek, really makes those cheekbones come to life. Okay, moving on. Spice Lip Liner by MAC. Okay, and now I'm going to blend two lipstick colors, and I almost made it a whole video without having to wear my cheaters, but I'm going to blend Bobbi Brown lip color in Raspberry Shimmer, which will be my base, and then Carnation. Uh, raspberry Shimmer is pretty much like what it sounds like, sort of a pinky frost, has a lightweight feel to it, almost glossy, but not glossy because you know we ladies we can't do all that gooey gloss like the 20 year olds do it just it, it doesn't look right and then the carnation is the one that really brings the orange to the picture creamy feel nice pinky orange Color. I will finish the hair, put on something appropriate besides a gray sweatshirt, and complete the look for you. And so here we are with the completed look. Tying it all together, doing just a little bit of peach, if I can find my zoom. There it is. So now you can pull in the whole terracotta look, like I said, with the lipstick and the blending of the colors, bring it out with a peach inspired or orangey type of a shirt, and you are complete. So there you go. I hope this answers your terracotta smoky eye questions that you may have. Any other questions, please leave them for me below. Comments, suggestions, always. Again, the description list of all the products used will be in the description portion of this video. Just click more, it will expand, and we'll all be there for you. That I promise. Continue to follow me on social media. Leave your comments. We are an interactive community, and I really do enjoy your comments and being able to reply to you. So with this new eye look, I encourage you to go out there this week, be bold, be blessed, and I will see you next time. Mm-hmm.